Hi YouTube, in this video I want to show you how to fix dying video card fans. This card right here is a Sapphire 7970, which was uh, the top of the line of the 7000 series that AMD came out with at the end of 2011. And it features uh, like a non-stock cooler um, from Sapphire, uh, the stock being like a, a blower style fan that I'm sure you've all seen, but this one and many others like it feature push-pull fans. This one has two 80-something millimeter fans. And uh, what happens is over time, I, I've seen the tendency that these style fans start to die on you after after a while. So this card has seen about a year of use, and this front fan here, when you when you would fling it with your finger, it wouldn't spin freely like this one does here. It would it would spin a few times around and just stop like it, and it felt really sticky by comparison. So I looked around on eBay and I found a set of replacement fans. They cost about twenty dollars, but. Um, I didn't really want to spend the money, and I got to thinking, you know, maybe I can fix this one up here. So what I did is, is I, un is I unscrewed these three little screws in the front and took the whole thing out, and then um, because I know these are aren't ball bearing, you know, fancy expensive fans, I figured it was a press fit. So what I did is I took it, pulled on three of the fan blades, and um, also pulled on these three little flanges on the base. I was able to pop it apart, and so that's how it's shown right here. So you can see on the fan itself, there is just a little metal shaft coming out, and um, there's just a receiver, and you, you can pop it back together just by pushing on it the same way you got it apart. So what I found was on the shaft, there was a lot of like brown, really thick, nasty, grease-looking stuff. So I wiped it off, and I also took a little tiny screwdriver and cleaned out the, the little hole that it fits into, and I put some of this 3-in-1 oil on it, about a drop in the hole and another drop on the shaft and I popped it back together and that seemed to be much better so I, I took it apart did it again and I did it also on, on this guy so now they both spin really freely so let me pop this one back together just so you can see pop it right in and now when I spin it, it spins freely silently and it should be fine so I think it's good to go so if any of you guys are having this issue <clears throat> I'm sure it voids your warranty so <laughs> only try it if uh, if you're willing to take that risk and uh, but it looks like it's going to work out great, so feel free to give that a try if, uh, if you don't feel like spending the money on replacements and your warranty's up. So, thanks for watching. So here's a shot of the fans both running at 100% uh, through Catalyst Control Center. Now here's with the, after they're fixed. I could tell uh, before I uh, uh, took it apart and lubricated it that the front one was definitely running slower and it was like wobbling a little bit or something like that. You could definitely tell they were more the same, so this is much better. So it looks like it's working great.